Lonnie, you should be up here, Lonnie. Come on. And David, we have to get David up here, too. David Scorton is uh, tremendous, and he was singing Lonnie's praises all morning long. So you two should at least be here. So we appreciate it very much. And David Rubenstein, who's here someplace, he is uh, — come on, David. You have to get up here, David. You certainly deserve it. He's a uh, very, very successful guy who spends money doing great things, and uh, he's been a great help to so many different groups, and this one in particular. Uh, thank you. It's a privilege to be here today. This museum is a beautiful tribute to so many American heroes, heroes like Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Booker T. Washington, Rosa Parks, the Greensboro students, and the African-American Medal of Honor recipients, among so many other really incredible heroes. It's uh, amazing to see. I went uh, — we did a pretty comprehensive tour, but not comprehensive enough. So, Lonnie, I'll be back. I told you that. Because I, I could stay here for a lot longer, believe me. It's, uh, it's really incredible. I'm deeply proud that we now have a museum that honors the millions of African-American men and women who built our national heritage, especially when it comes to faith, culture, and the unbreakable American spirit. My wife was here last week and took a tour, and it was something that she's still talking about. Uh, Ivanka is here right now. Hi, Ivanka. <laughs> and uh, it really is uh, very, very special. It's something that, uh, frankly, if you want to know the truth, it's doing so well that everybody's talking about it. I know President Obama was here for the museum opening last fall. And I'm honored to be the second sitting president to visit this great museum. Etched in the hall that we passed today is a quote from Spotswood Rice, a runaway slave who joined the Union Army. He believed that his fellow African Americans always looked to the United States as the promised land of universal freedom. Today and every day of my presidency, I pledge to do everything I can to continue that promise of freedom for African Americans and for every American. So important. Nothing more important. This tour was a meaningful reminder of why we have to fight bigotry, intolerance, and hatred in all of its very ugly forms. The anti-Semitic threats targeting our Jewish community and community centers are horrible and are painful, and a very sad reminder of the work that still must be done to root out hate and prejudice and evil. I want to thank a great friend of mine, Dr. Ben Carson, and his beautiful family, Candy and the whole family, for joining us today. It was very special to a